nutrition. All food that we eat could be divided in four big categories. Protein, fat, carbohydrates, and fruits and vegetables. Main source of protein in our diet, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts and seeds, also brown rice and beans. When you look under the microscope, protein is a basically a long, very long chain of amino acids that connect it to each other. This is individual amino acids and they are uh, different. This looks like that and this one is, looks like that. What happens when the food gets into our digestive tract? So let's draw digestive tract. This is esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and here we go to the bathroom, right here. Also here is the mouse, this teeth. Low esophageal sphincter is here, duodenal sphincter is here at the end of the stomach. When you put long piece of protein such as fish and meat into your mouth, first it's broken by the teeth into smaller particles, then it gets digested in the stomach under effect of hydrochloric acid. Concentration of hydrochloric acid in the stomach is very, very high. Medical term for that is pH, and it's about between 2 and 3. Very acidic environment. The reason we have this acidic en environment is just to break down the connection between protein. Make sure that you're digesting protein into individual amino acids. Only individual amino acids, they get here into your digestive tract and they can go through the digestive tract into the bloodstream. Let's draw the bloodstream right here. This is your bloodstream. And here is your individual amino acid in the bloodstream. This individual amino acid, or many of them, are actually a building blocks for our own muscles or our own protein. Muscle that you exercise is made exactly out of food or protein that you ate yesterday or today. Heart muscle or cardiac muscle, connective tissues, also made out of the same amino acids or protein that get absorbed through digestive tract. So now let's see what will happen if for any natural or uh, not natural reason, the concentration of hydrochloric acid in your stomach becomes lower. So suppose you underproduce or you take the medication that will drive down concentration of hydrochloric acid down, then you don't have adequate acidity. The food, or in particular protein, will stay here right in the stomach for a long period of time, more than it's supposed to be, about 40 to one hour, 30 minutes, longer than that time physiologically supposed to be. So the food will stay here. You will keep trying to produce hydrochloric acid. As food stays here, it may go here and it will create acid reflex, sensation of the burning in the esophagus, or it could be expressed as a, um, a sore throat or as a cough or as an asthma, sometimes as a pus nasal drip, as acid get accumulates here in the posterior throat. So you, could, you should be appreciate how important concentration of adequate concentration of hydrochloric acid in digestive in the stomach to break down protein. If you did not break it down, the food will go up here or eventually it will get pushed down here and undigested protein will go here through the digestive tract, never broken down and it will come out right here. So hydrochloric acid is very, very important to digest food. See you in the next lecture.